This is Data Specialist Sanders of the Ongoing Data Redundancy Project. SCP-252, Object Class Previously Euclid, Now Safe, Special Containment Procedures. A breeding pair is maintained under the direction of marine biologist Dr. Redacted. Personnel should not approach the containment tank unless they have been previously prepared for the anomalous effects of the animals. Additional specimens of SCP-252 may exist in the wild. Current specimens are considered sufficient, and further acquisitions are not a priority. Containment of information regarding encounters will consist of standard cover story 53, Drunken Sailor, and administration of amnestics as necessary. Description SCP-252 is a subspecies of Docidicus gigas. Mature specimens are noticeably smaller than average, reaching no more than 1 meter in length and weighing a maximum of 40 kilograms. Dissection shows the absence of an ink sac and an increased density of chromatophores, approximately 20 times the normal adult average. Behavior is identical in most ways to mundane specimens, except when hunting or threatened. When a member of SCP-252 detects prey, they exhibit aggressive behavior and move towards the target at maximum speed while rapidly cycling their chromatophores. This color shifting has a hypnotic effect on prey animals that make visual contact, causing them to cease all defensive behavior and attempts to flee until grappled. Begin outdated description. When threatened by a predator or otherwise agitated, SCP-252 rapidly metamorphs into an unidentified aquatic life form of extreme size with an indeterminate physiology and extremely destructive demeanor. Physical attributes in this state are in a constant state of change. Size fluctuates between 50 and 75 meters in length with no fewer than 50 and occasionally as many as 200 appendages of various natures. Appendages shift constantly between suckered tentacles averaging 5 meters in length, insectoid limbs terminating in barbed pincers, and humanoid arms and legs ending in sharpened talons. Details and positions of appendages on the body also vary randomly, with the only constant being a cluster of tentacles around the head obscuring the mouth area. It is not currently known how this rapid growth is achieved. Due to the potential for a containment breach, no research on the matter is currently authorized. End outdated description. All animal life, excluding other SCP-252 and mundane squid species, will attempt to escape the vicinity by the most direct route possible. This fear response can cause the targets to harm themselves as they flee into hazardous conditions or ram repeatedly into container walls. Roughly 95% of subjects encountering an enraged SCP-252 develop a phobia of cephalopods. It is not known if this is an additional anomalous effect or a normal behavioral reaction to traumatic experiences. Upon review of security footage during containment, Dr. Redacted has determined that SCP-252's metamorphosis is in fact an advanced hallucination induced by the shifting pattern of chromatophores. These hallucinations cause the victim to see SCP-252 as a titanic sea creature with an excessively large number of tentacles. Specific details vary greatly, from subject to subject, but the hallucinatory creature consistently presents as a greatly exaggerated cephalopod with tentacles clustered around the mouth area, additional appendages with talons or pincers, and the general impression that all features are fluid and randomly shifting. Subjects removed from visual contact with SCP-252 will remain convinced that their hallucinations were a real sea monster and will attempt to rationalize any logical contradictions inherent in their delusion, such as a 100-meter monster swimming in a 10-meter enclosed tank. This rationalization and the lingering phobia is thought to be a form of post-hypnotic suggestion. Subjects viewing video of agitated SCP-252 who have never been exposed directly experience a much less severe fear reaction and are able to perceive the squid despite the hallucinations. Subjects describe the illusory monster as fake-looking and nonsensical, but still find it moderately frightening. After second-hand exposure, subjects develop a partial immunity to the full effects of direct exposure. Repeated direct contact under inoculation by video further lessens the effects. Acclimated subjects can develop a complete immunity to the fear effect and experience only the vaguest awareness of the hallucinations. Addendum. SCP-252 came to Foundation attention after numerous reports of sea monster sightings by commercial fishermen off the coast of Redacted. The agent who secured the specimen allowed himself to be exposed to SCP-252's effects during first contact. 
Initial containment procedures were based on his reports of the specimen's size and physical capabilities, resulting in an excessive expenditure of resources. Disciplinary action recommended, pending oversight review.